Hello there, Martin here from Schildwache Potsdam. And today we are going to talk about footwork. But please, stay with me. It's about how to get in a great position using your footwork. And this applies to any bladed weapon. Heck, it applies to most martial arts. So it's again a very basic concept, but a very important one as well. So I've seen the sparring of Federico Malaguti and Martin Fabian the other day, and there was one thing that especially struck me, how Martin Fabian was repeatedly able to, it seemed like kind of surprised, uh, like he surprised Federico with his very fast and agile thrusts. And there was a kind of footwork that he implemented to do that, that another great fencer, Robert Charles, um, actually talked about in his channel as well. And footwork, it's not about just moving your feet. It's to get you in a good position, set up rhythms and disguise your true intentions. So, what's the thing I'm talking about? And this is something you could easily train on your own. And if you have it in your body, you can try to apply it in your next sparring or fencing session. Okay, so just for the course of this video, I will use my long sword. And the thing I want to talk about to you today is like disguising your attacks within your normal footwork. So, for example, if you're a fencer that mainly uses half steps, like advancing with your one foot and then uh, decreasing the range of your feet with the other again. So, when this is your, your usual footwork, you could try this footwork to then disguise your lunge or your wide step, if you want to say it like this. So, and the way you do it is that when you move forward, your opponent usually reacts and they usually move appropriately. So if I step a little bit forward, my opponent steps a little bit backward. Or they don't, then I don't have to surprise them at all because then I just walk them down. But if I just do this first motion, this first part of the half step, and then from here I break the rhythm, I don't uh, draw my back foot, I don't gather it towards my front foot, but from here I immediately extend. This is something that breaks the rhythm and is quite surprising. And you will be surprised how good it is. So, you do your normal half steps, and then from here you step and then extend immediately. And for this it's quite important that you have your knees bent like the Bolognese sources advise us over and over again, because then I'm not just falling, but I'm actually pushing. I can actually use my legs to propel me forward, okay? So I don't want to stand too upright with straight knees, but if I'm fighting, I want a bend in my knees to actually bring me forward. And from here, half step, lunge half step lunge. The first one is a setup. It disguises your lunge. And if they don't react, you go just whap. And this is how Robert Charles uh, shows it with the rapier from a low guard into the straight thrust. And it's uh, something, the thing Martin Fabian used was something like from the, from tag into a shooting position. Okay, so this is one variation. But what if your opponent retracts way unproportionately? So they like fleeing all the time from you, like you step a little bit forward and they go a big step backwards. Then Manciolini, for example, says your art would be in this day. So, what do we want to do? Manchelino tells us we should retract a bit to lure them in. And that's something we're going to do now. We're going to go with a half step backwards and we're using the same pattern again. We go for the uh, first part of the half step backwards, but then propel us forward. So half back and forwards, okay? 
So you can go forward, you can go back and forward again. So the footwork is going back, going back and forth. Okay, so it's just the first part of the half step back. And then of course you need to use your weapon again. Go back, back and forth. Okay, and this is one other way to break this rhythm. Another one that's especially used in the Bolognese sources, not only to defend a blow to your forward leg, it's the changing of the front feet. And this is probably even more appropriate if you're using a lot of full steps. Okay, so we're going here and here. And again, from this motion going backwards, you pause in an intermediate position to then go forward. Okay, so for example, I start with my right foot forward. I go full step back. So this is the thing I want to prime my opponent. But then I go into an extended position, into a wide position with my left leg. And for the other side, it's the same again. Okay, and the thing you want to train is doing your normal steps. So this is setting a rhythm. And then you want to break it. You want to set your opponent up to then surprise them. Okay, these are three footwork variants for today. Let's see it all. So the first one was the first bit. So you go half steps forward and backwards, and then you feint a half step forward, but you go for a full lunge, okay? And this can be done with either the left or the right leg forward. It's no problem at all. The second one is going with your half steps back, like you're trying to draw your opponent in, but then you feint the half step backwards, but going actually forwards, okay? So go forward, you lure him in, and then you push forwards again. And the last one is disguising with full steps, and then use, the change of feet to your advantage to the, once again surprise your opponent and push into them. Okay, so I hope this bit of footwork will be of use to you. Train hard, train safe, and until next time, we'll see you again. Ciao.